So you've got the graph paper. Every square on the graph is a square foot in the garden. And I got this piece of fencing, four foot by four foot, with the square feet painted out on it. And I use each one of the squares in the wire to measure out where I put the plants. And this is four inch spacing for the onions. Same spacing I use for the lettuce. One there, one there, one there, one there. And then that, direc that direction it skips a wire so it goes here, here, here. And this is where you gotta pay attention when you're figuring it out. If you want it to do the same spacing you've got here, up to here. You got there. When I go up to there, so you got one there, you skip this line, you got the other one there, and then it just follows through in all the squares. And that is how you cram a lot in the garden. And because I only have these three walkways, I don't walk anywhere else in the garden, all this space get used for planting. Alright, so to work in these wide rows, I sit here in the furrow. And I just reach my arm across. On each side I can reach to the middle of the four foot row. got short arms you might only want to use three foot rows the less space you use for walking paths the more space you have for food and each one of these four foot squares will what I fit 144 onions in I plant two and a half squares worth of onions 360 onions in 10 feet a row. Plenty of onions to last a year if you can get them to keep. If you got a basement you should be able to keep them. Well, there it is. 360 onions. Everything in the garden is planted on the grid. Although some are so wide a spacing that the grid doesn't really matter but everything on the garden is planted wide row there you see these five tomato cages are a good example of the big grid five in the diamond pattern And on this side of the fence will be peas. Raspberries are waking up. Supposed to get down to the 20s this weekend. Not just that variety either, it's both of them. Pork one's waking up. Macintosh is waking up. Arkansas black. <laughs> 